What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. I'm going to do a quick video today. We're going to bust out the cap and ball revolver and we're going to do some velocity measuring with the chronograph. We're also going to calculate uh, the foot pounds of energy that one of these 44 caliber lead balls is producing. So let's head over to the, uh, the range here and we'll get started. ball in the scale weighing 119.6 six lead balls in the scale 717.5 grains which averages out to 119.6 grains we're loaded up with six rounds of 44 caliber round balls these are weighing in at about an average of 119 grains we've got 30 grains of Hodgdon Pyrodex pellets uh, these are uh, equivalent of triple F black powder pellets. And we're five yards back. We're going to put six rounds through the chronograph and see what we got. One thousand fifty. Nine hundred and seventy six. Nine hundred and fifteen. Uh, 749 that was a slow one 1117 1,011. Well, that's all the time we got left for this episode of Idaho Rifleman. And it's starting to rain anyway, so I want to get everything inside and covered up before it starts coming down too hard. Pretty interesting results out of this. I uh, wasn't expecting those rounds to be traveling that fast. Definitely had a slow one in there, but uh, the rest of them clicking around over 1,000 feet per second was uh, pretty impressive. I've always considered black powder a pretty slow moving round and I mean definitely hits with a thunk with the caliber and the grain but uh, they're definitely slower. This performed differently than I was expecting. Uh, all the ballistic data is in that uh, those flash cards there that you saw after the shooting sequence but uh, interesting. And another interesting thing that I've found is a, uh, a 45 caliber muzzle loader takes a .440 ball. But a 44 caliber, at least this one, takes a .454 lead ball, which .454 is the same diameter as a 45 Colt. So, ballistics and ammunition and loading, all that's fascinating. And, uh, yeah, just something interesting that I thought didn't add up to me, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I hope you guys liked this video, found it informative. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And make sure you're following the channel here. Uh, somewhere between 95 and 97% of my viewers are not subscribed. So I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you just reach down and hit that, uh, that follow button. What else? Instagram, Facebook, I have both. I'm not really good about keeping up on them, but I'm trying to here and there. But, you know, whenever I upload a new video here, I try to post over there as well and uh, let you guys know that. So be sure to check out those as well. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time here on Idaho Rifleman.